timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. Remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck roll that they can fall back on anymore. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again. Herbert. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Here's Herbert. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. First catch of this wild card game for a 1,000-yard receiver in the regular season. He's got a first down, too. the midfield strike number 26 well in every play call you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game trying to establish the inside run run with toughness now hopefully get to the perimeter later and let's face it you could do worse than a four yard run on first down from the 50 here's herbert Looking downfield for Goblin. He's got it with the 15. And all the way in for the Charger touchdown. Chris Goblin, 50 yards. And the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. Well, this has been a quick strike offense all season long, finding many different ways to manufacture big plays. They had a big playoff preview today in the papers, and it was about who would set the tone. Well, they just set the tone right there. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. First carry now for the former Badger, Jonathan Taylor. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. Tackle made at the 30. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Four receivers set here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and six. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got 
got to him with the pressure. <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Looking for Campbell downfield. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Some booze coming down right now from this home crowd after that call. Yeah, and that was because of the pass interference call. But for a second there, I thought maybe they'd gotten a look at my uh, appearance as Othello in the high school play. <laughs> you, you were Othello? Not a good one, let me tell you. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Here's Taylor. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Jonathan he'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second and four. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now Taylor. Yeah, he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Take him Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Brings up third down. Try and run for the first with Taylor. And they're going to mark him down short. Maybe by about a yard, if that. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Brings up fourth down. off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. He may try and run for this. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution. A six-yard gain, and it all works out. Second and goal. And goal at the five yard line. Again, it'll be Taylor. And he takes it in for a cold score. Taylor, the ball carrier. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Colts are an extra point away from tying up this football game. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. 
Brett Maher is set to kick off. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Seven, seven. Our score after one. Score tied seven to seven. Coming up now on a second and fifteen following that sack. Taylor. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 16 yards, a first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. to Taylor on first down. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at him and right up the middle. They'll run here with Taylor. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. 
Jonathan Taylor with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Colts have taken the lead. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Thanks the score. Colts 14, Chargers 7. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. Start the drive, has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Behind the chain, second and 13. Play action. It's Herbert. And his throw here is incomplete. He was looking for Chris Godwin that time. And it's third down. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Looking for Godwin, and he's got it complete. And they do get this across midfield of the 49, but a small consolation prize as he's well short of the first. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Taylor. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Tackle made there by the safety, Derwin James. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room that you have to run the punter out there. He can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll run with Taylor. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And it looks 
looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. They'll drop to throw. Looking for Campbell downfield. And a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. As he brings us all the way back to the 25 yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Now they try the right side here. And taking it to the 15 yard line before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 and a first down, LA. There are times on carries like that where he looks a little bit older than his rookie status. How many times have we talked when we've gone out to dinner about how precocious these youngsters are that come into the NFL now? They play at a higher level at a younger age. The stars aren't quite in their eyes as much as it used to be, huh? 20-yard line. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. His throw caught by the six. And he'll be taken down by the face mask, it appeared. And yes, out come the flags. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. And this is complete. It's Allen. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen taking it in. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. Wisnowski set to kick off. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They start from scratch here, so to speak. 14 all following the interception last time that led to a score. Now they've got it first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's going to go up top again. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Nasir Ailey. Second straight drive now here, Charles. And he ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. After the turnover, here's Herbert. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. Coming up at the half, we remind you that we're going to do what we've done all year. We'll get you down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown of what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin the road to the upcoming Super Bowl. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, 
That's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Second and 15. Herbert off of play action. Looking downfield for Godwin. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, LA. Chris Godwin with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers are going to take the lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and take it. The Colts take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score. And picked up by the Chargers. Terrific opportunity inside the five. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. So stuff from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now this is a big play in this wild card matchup facing third and goal. Out of the gun, Herbert. This will be caught at about the five. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. The down up the blitz on third down, and your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. So here's Greg Zerline now as he'll try for the field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So not sure how they feel about that. They have golden field position to start the drive after the fumble recovery, but they went backward and then got three. Well, let's go from gold to silver, because the silver lining is they got the three, right? You talk about the golden field position. They didn't take advantage of it. That has to feel like a letdown. You always stand ready to pounce. <laughs> always. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to try back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over.
first down, he'll drop to throw. Campbell making the catch. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. That's complete to his running back, Taylor. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Out of bounds at the 38-yard line. It's a gain of five. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This officially a 55-yard attempt. A 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. start their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They run once more with Taylor. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. So the offense a little antsy. The flag comes out and a five-yard penalty. Now after the false start, they need eight yards here on third down. Taylor. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Three. The Colts send out their punter, and surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it'll be Charger football here as they take over. 30-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup.
from the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. He was Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. The last run got six, now second and four. Now a handoff looking right. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. The officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. On first and ten, Herbert. That's complete to his receiver, Gatwood. And he's out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. First down. First and ten at the 29-yard line. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. The intended target was Chris Godwin, but it's going to be second down. fake and now Herbert to throw oh, leaping and he makes the grab that'll leave him with a third and two coming up they got eight yards there so much goes into a successful play doesn't it how about that play action there freezing the defense just enough to swing the tight end free downfield for the completion third and two Herbert and that is incomplete oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground and fourth down now coming up. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And Zerline's kick is good. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, they stiffened a little bit towards the field goal. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That and that's caught inside the 30. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. A gain of 50. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well. They'll get a few stops. Exactly 50 yards on that last play as they just go from 125 to the other for first and 10. The give to Taylor. And down inside the 15, shot of the 10. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Again, it's Taylor. And he'll get 
get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Touchdown, Jonathan Taylor saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Colts able to get this back with it, a touchdown. The kick is good. And it's up and good. Chargers 27, Colts 24. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Taken in the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Five-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. 36 yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Off play action. Herbert. Solid gain of 27. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him in a more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. And he'll give it here to his running back. Shaquille Barrett in on the tackle. Right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Off the play fake. Herbert. Looking downfield for Godwin. That's going to be caught. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Chris Godwin saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. Then his guys will take a 10-point lead. Makes the score. Chargers 34. Colts 24. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. If they want to advance in this divisional round, look, obviously the time is now. Trailing here in the fourth as they go to work. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 39. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40 yard line. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone's seeking to be somewhat the hero. 
didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. There's a run on the first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. And here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he takes it in for a charger touchdown. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Zerline good with a PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Takes this about five yards deep. The Colts take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they are most likely staring at a cold end to their season here in this wild card round. Nothing has gone right so far. And they are, to be frank, in desperation mode now as they begin with a first and ten. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. complete downfield on the left side and he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds five yards now it's third and five and it's third the Colts on third down 0 for 3 to this point they could use a conversion this will be third and five he'll look to throw he's got Evans and he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. First down, Indianapolis. Back to throw again. He's got the first down and more inside the field. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token plus. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? Yeah, at the one-yard line. One-yard line. They gave up excellent real estate on that one. That's going to work really, really well for the guys who throw it. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. This is a tough situation offensively because down three scores, the field goal kicker is not even going to come into play here. As an offensive play caller, though, you know you have to take chances. This is a time to get creative. Here's a second and seven. This is caught. Gronkowski. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. three there and that leads to a fourth and goal brings up fourth down and goal gotta try it here he's back to throw and he's got his target it's caught for a Colts touchdown Paris Campbell there to make the grab and the Colts are able to draw a bit closer big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense that is a tough pill to swallow 
big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Brett Maher is set to kick off. Following the touchdown, here's Maher to kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going, and they are looking good. A two-score lead here in this fourth quarter as they hope to capture a spot in the divisional round next weekend. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Now it's Herbert, escaping the pressure right. And right side, Henry's got it. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. A big play there on the catch and run. 48 yards. 25-yard line. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Back to the air. Herbert on second down. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Herbert operating from the red zone. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Chris Godwin there to make the grab. The Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. And let's count them up now. One, two, three, four touchdown receptions for him in this game. And just one shy of the NFL record. What a great performance. Going up and catching the football, creating space, and finding the end zone. That's what it's all about. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They'll have a first down past the 40. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Hit as he throws 
gets there incomplete. Good coverage that time by Derwin James. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Catch made here.